Hi, so I just created this virtual machine, App3 here, and I want to put PowerShell Azure tools on there because there are only certain things you can do in PowerShell that you can't do through the GUI. Specifically, what I want to do is add a static IP and assign it to my virtual machine and reserve it under my virtual network. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in another video. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to install the PowerShell tools, which is a prerequisite for everything else. Uh, so there are actually two steps, installing the PowerShell tools, but actually also activating the PowerShell such that it attaches to your Windows Azure account so that you can actually work with uh, just your Azure account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to bring up my uh, RDP session here. And I'm, I'm on the virtual machine where I want to put the Azure Power Tools. And I'm going to this link. So one way of getting the Power Tools is going to this link, scrolling all the way down and clicking on Microsoft Platform Installer, which by default will prompt you to actually install the PowerShell tools. So this is one way of doing it. And all you have to do is click Install. And again, this will only install the PowerShell tools. The other step is actually a little bit more involved, which is to connect to the account uh, that holds your Azure subscription so that you could run the commands against just your account. Um, I'm going to exit here. I'm going to show you the other way of getting this, which is going to search here and uh, choosing Microsoft, uh, Internet Explorer, uh, uh, not Internet Explorer, Internet Information, IS, Internet Information Services Manager, and highlighting the uh, web service, I, I mean the uh, server. And here there's the platform installer, just double click on that. And if it doesn't already prompt you for the Azure Power Tools, if it's not here, uh, just click Azure PowerShell and it'll, it'll just appear. So you notice it appeared. And what I want is actually this first one, Azure PowerShell. So I'm going to click Add. And I am going to click Install here. And Accept. So it's going to install the PowerShell with the Azure PowerShell tools. And um, I'm going to pause the video here and wait for this to finish installing. So it's um, done installing here. Uh, probably another 10 seconds or so. Okay, so I'm just going to click finish and that installed the Azure PowerShell tools. And now I could bring up PowerShell. Th there's an icon here to bring up PowerShell or I could just uh, go to search here and type uh, PowerShell. Whoops. PowerShell. So you can do that and you could choose uh, the particular PowerShell. I'm going to choose um, the Azure PowerShell here. Which just loads the uh, PowerShell, the Azure PowerShell. So I have a command here that I'm going to execute. And again, I'm going to put all of this in the description area of the video. Uh, the command is uh, get Azure publish settings file. And uh, actually, I did want to mention is su suppose I uh, just open the normal PowerShell, the command also works. So if I type in the command, all this does is brings up the Azure, your Azure account. And what you're going to go through here is you're going to um, sign into your Azure account and there's going to be a link that prompts you to download a file. So um, I'm going to go ahead here and sign in and um, because it's my account information I am going to I 
I am going to um, pause this here and skip these few steps but show you the download portion. So after I sign in and I go through that step, it's going to forward me to this uh, web page here and it's going to prompt me to download my credentials and, and this is my subscription here. So I am going to save that file. I'm just going to click save and it saves really fast. I'm just going to open the folder here where it's located. So this is the folder where it's located in the down in the, your typical download folder. So make sure you uh, note where it's actually uh, located. And I'm going to run this command here, import the publisher settings. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to import the publisher settings. And it's going to prompt me for where the location of the file is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the whole name of this file and give the full path. So this is the full path of the file that I downloaded and this is the subscription files and uh, the settings that I have. And again, this allows me to connect to my Azure account and run all of these PowerShell commands against it. So I'm going to... And you'll notice it completed. And the next step is actually another uh, command which is to get the subscription so you notice it actually imported my file which is great and that's permanent so after every reboot I don't have to do this again and again I'm just doing it once uh, making sure this is the command uh, I mean uh, th this is the session and the account that I'm working with so my last command is get subscription and now I am really all set so now uh, this allows me to work with my Azure subscription or, or all of my virtual networks that I created, all of my VMs that I created through this console here. Um, so there you go. That's how you uh, create and install. That's how you install the Azure PowerShell tools. And uh, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, these Azure commands to actually um, reserve a static IP on the virtual network and assign a static IP to your VMs here. Alright, uh, thank you for watching.